Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. So I'm sure you can tell by the title that today I wanted to share with you a form of a DIY. In the process yesterday of trying to set up and decorate for fall, I really kind of want to do some kind of home decor tour for you guys. I've literally painted my whole house to decorate for this holiday. So it usually ends up coming out really gorgeous in here. So I want to share that with you guys. So when I was getting out my linen and everything, which I store right here in this cart back here, it was a disaster. The kids were in it. Maya grabbed a shot glass, dropped it on the floor, broke glass everywhere. So this cart is just a hazard and it forced me to do something I've been meaning to do for a while. That's why I have those trays back there. You can already see them. This light from the window here is the best light in the whole house. Like I just don't have great lighting here and the best natural light comes from right here. So I already bought these trays with the idea of wanting to do an herb garden up top here. So I'm going to do an herb garden up here. I'm going to take all this glassware and move it into the kitchen and put it up where my regular glasses are. I'm going to move the alcohol down to the bottom cabinet where I can lock it up. And the middle section, I think I'm just going to do some kind of home decor. So come along with me and let's turn my bar cart into an herb garden. Okay, guys, so this is what we're working with. So all this alcohol stuff up here. I mean, I have some stuff that was like passed down that shivers down there has been passed down like from Paul's dad for like years, 20 years or something. So I've had all this alcohol up here that I need to put away and then all these things that I've collected, like all the herbs and things like that, that I wanted to plant in here are all ready to go. This down here is where I had like some of my glassware. See, it's where Maya knocked some stuff over in here. So all of these glasses just need to be put away and I'll, Look, I mean, I don't even know what this is. My, Mason's got like blocks in here. I mean, I don't know. So I need to clean this up out of here. This is the space I think that I'm just gonna use to set some de decor up and put some nice things in here. This drawer, I totally need to clean out and organize. This is where all that linen is. I couldn't even find everything in here, which is again, what inspired me to clean this out because there's so much stuff in here that I don't, I couldn't even find all of the, see I started putting out the tablecloth and everything and I could only find three of these. I'm missing three more. So they're in here somewhere. I need to take care of that. So I need to clean and organize that. I want to put some like space saver bags. And then under here is just, again, some miscellaneous stuff. Like this is this Mr. Beer thing. Daryl's had this thing forever. He told me to throw it out. He's never going to use it. So again, I just have a bunch of stuff under here. So I'm going to set this up on the tripod. I'm going to clean all this out, pull it out so I can sweep behind it and wipe everything down. And then we'll start putting everything out.
it is all done. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep the decor here. I haven't really dove into all the buckets yet. So just some of the stuff that I pulled out for right now, but this certainly looks way cleaner and better than it was before. The only thing I did keep glass wise is my 50 shades of gray wine bottle set. And then this, I don't know if it's going to focus for you guys. All right guys, so I tried to get that to focus, but it just won't, but this just says it's a 50 shades of gray candle inspired by the series. I ordered that on Amazon as like a little treat for myself when I threw my fifties party. And that was my very first glass that I made myself. See the date 21315. That was the launch of the first movie. So those are the only pieces of those that I kept out. And then just my little, vintage wine bottle, like tea light holder that burns like those little tart kind of things. Obviously I don't burn it up there because the top's right there, but it's just there because it feels like it belongs on the bar cart. So I just use it there for decoration. But last year I made this little candle. I just like glued some leaves and tied some raffia on like a regular white candle and just stuck it in the middle of this thing. I think I got this thing at Hobby Lobby and then this was maybe a Thanksgiving favor at the table, and this was given to me as a gift. So that's it for now, but when I do my home decor, keep an eye out for this. If I change anything, then I'll show you guys what's updated up top there. And then here's my little herb garden. I'm excited about it. I think it came out good. Um, so we have rosemary, Italian basil, marjoram, don't ask about this little puppy thing. It's supposed to grow grass. I don't know where Mason got it from. It was something Mason got maybe Easter or something. So I set that up for him. This is just um, like a fall vase. I think I'm going to put some mums or some flowers or something in here. Um, and then we have spinach and cilantro. And then we have lettuce. And this one is sweet basil. And then this one's dill. And then I just have my little cactus that Paul gave me a long time ago that lucky for me has not died. So that is it for my herb garden. And then I did clean in here, organized everything, put like all of my different seasonal kind of napkin rings and holders, the Valentine's Day red ones. These are the poinsettia Christmas ones and the tablecloth. So I did all of that. And then underneath, I have one of those child safety locks that I'm gonna put here on the cabinet since I put all of the liquor down below. And that's just like my bar stuff that I use if I throw a party or something. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me and turning my bar cart into a herb garden. All right guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for sticking with me and doing this little DIY project with me. It's definitely been on my list of things to do and that whole glassware hazard forced my hand. So I'm so glad. Thank you for watching. If you guys are new and you'd like to stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. If you missed my last video, there's always a link to that right there in this corner right here. Hit that that thumbs up button if you loved my project I did here today and I will see you guys all next time. Bye everyone!